Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now in our series on blend modes about the overlay and how it is calculated. So it's the first one in the contrast group and it creates a contrast by darkening darks and lightening lights and in doing so it uses the multiply to darken the darks on the screen to lighten the lights. So just looking at those calculations, the multiply, you take something like this, you got 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 0 0.3, which gives you a color. And you then got another color here. And what you're going to do is multiply these together. So like this in the reds, the greens and the blues separately. And so you end up with a another color here, which is unsurprisingly darker. Because when you multiply a fraction by a fraction, you get a smaller fraction. Looking at the screen, this is a bit more complex because what you're doing is you're doing another multiply here, but you're doing it by an inverted one. So it's the invert the blend, invert the base, and then multiply and then invert the result. So again, the same values here and here. And what you're doing is rather than just multiplying them straight out, you're taking the, the layers here and the, whatever the value is to get it up to one, or 100%, and similarly here, and you're going to multiply those bits there, which is the one minus bit. So you get something like this. And when you multiply those, you're going to get something here. So this is a bit smaller, but what you don't want that is you want the bits up here, which is going to be bigger, which means it's going to be brighter or lighter. And that is the screen calculation. The calculation for the overlay blend mode is if the base is less than 0 0.5, in other words, it's darker, you're going to use the multiply. So you're going to make things darker. Otherwise, you can use the screen. However, you might have noticed in here this question. There's a two times in here. What is this two times stuff all about? Well, let's have a look at it in practice. So we this is the base layer, which is like in the X direction, going from 0 to 1. And the blend layer above it is like in the Y direction, going from 0 to 1. And then if I go to the multiply, it shows me here, everything's a lot of things getting darker. And the screen is a kind of reverse effect with most, most things being whiter. And the end result of those two is being put together in some way to give us this overlay which is kind of, yeah, but sort of works. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. You've got the overlay here, like this. And then you put in the multiply. And you put in the screen. And what I thought originally was that you'd take the darker bits of the multiply and use that and take the lighter bits of the screen and use that. But these two rectangles don't fit together. And when you try to put them into here, that's not the same as this. You know, there's a difference here, which is a bit odd. So maybe you don't need those rectangles. But what I did notice here is this shape here is kind of the same as this shape here. So what you're doing maybe is putting these two together. You can take those two together and kind of group those and then squeeze those up here. And what you get is something very similar here to what's up there. And this also explains that multiplying by two because the aspect ratio of each of these is one to two. So if every one here, I need to have a doubling effect to go up here. So there's that two thing in it. So, looking at that again here, we've just got blends and the base and the overlay, which is like this. Put the overlay up there and then put the multiply. And this, if you notice here, there's a kind of a curve. You try to plot around the 50% grey. And the screen, the same sort of thing like this, because these edges here fit together nicely, as we saw. So you've got this S curve here, an S curve, that makes sense because if you're using the curves control, you do an S curve, don't you, to 
create a contrast. So this is what's going on here. Just some key points about that. Then it's the overlay squeezes the multiplying screen together. So it's making like an S-curve. It is actually the reverse of the hard light calculation, as we see when we get to that in a couple of blend modes time, which effectively all you're doing is switching the blend and base. And it is quite an easy calculation as things go. There, as we'll see, there are others which are have a bit more of the uh, algorithms in there. And it's the overall effect is quite nice. Overlay is a very popular blend mode because it doesn't sort of bash things up, it doesn't burn things out, and so on. So there we go. That's the overlay blend mode calculation. And thank you very much for watching.